Have you heard the recent news that Beach Body, formerly an MLM, is now embracing an affiliate model? This comes on the heels of announcements from Rodana and Fields, Saint, um, formerly Mascara, Pure Romance. Many companies are choosing to turn from traditional network marketing toward an affiliate model. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, instead of rewarding team building and instead of there being a career path, uh, companies are instead just shifting, you know, focusing on we will pay people that promote our products, you know, a percentage of the sales and call it good. We're not going to do car programs. We're not going to have conferences. We're not going to do prizes. We um, And this is to help them with their bottom line. It's cheaper and simpler for them. Influencer marketing is definitely red hot. Anyone that wants to advertise their product is choosing to give that product to an influencer in hopes that they will present it to their audience rather than spend money on traditional ads. There is a big shift happening in the marketplace, and it is very important if you want to stay relevant, if you want to maintain the income that you've got flowing in right now, that you understand what's happening and prepare for the changes that are likely ahead. I'm Michelle Fox, founder of Boss Babes Online. I help women in direct sales expand online and in doing so create multiple avenues of income. That's what Boss Babes has always been about. So when I'm hearing about direct sales companies shifting to an affiliate model, while it makes me sad, it doesn't it doesn't devastate me because I understand how an affiliate model works. I am an affiliate for many companies and I know the benefits of it. When I think about my company no longer existing, the possibility is always there. We don't know, right? I am sad, but I'm not paralyzed by it because I've got all kinds of stuff going on in my world. I, I make money in many different ways. And that is really something that I want to put out there for you today. All right. It's a tricky thing to talk about because I think when you're in network marketing, you, you're ve- you have tunnel vision. You think that your company and your product and your team is everything. And that if you were to um, be passionate about anything else, that somehow you're being disloyal. But let me tell you, things are changing and direct sales is not going to remain the same. And I think that it's really important that you understand that and that you are ready for that. Okay. Other things that are happening besides people shifting their structure or closing their doors or being available at Target. uh, Also, the FTC, Federal Trade Commission, is really cracking down on false claims Uh, Something that is very common in our companies is that we highlight, spotlight the people at the top that and how much, what their lifestyle is like and how much money they make. And the FTC is saying, if you do that, then you also need to state what the average consultant makes or how long the average consultant remains in the company. I think that that is good. I think that we need to be honest and realistic. That doesn't, you know, intimidate me, but I have noticed that uh when I put things out on YouTube, I will occasionally be contacted um and and told that I need to remove certain expressions because the FTC no longer allows that just because uh you know how it can be misconstrued. So whether your actual company, you know, changes its model or closes its doors, things around us are changing. Okay. The, the atmosphere is changing. People are more and more skeptical 
of network marketing companies. There are whole channels on YouTube devoted to anti-MLM and there's so much vitriol. I mean, just such hatred. It's, it's alarming, but there's always a backstory. I mean, there's a reason why people feel that way because there are some really awful stories out there, people that have been taken advantage of. So all of this is happening. And even though those of us who are still in direct sales and enjoying it and don't necessarily want to change, we would be foolish not to be aware, not to take a look and be aware of what's happening around us. Hopefully you can agree with that point. (laughs) Something that I've learned in um, expanding online is that I can promote my business and I can also promote things that sort of accentuate my business. So I'll give you an example. As I create a a really um, solid Facebook community where I've got a business page and I've got a private group and they like what I have to say and they like hearing my recommendations. So I still makeup and skincare, but what if, you know, I find like a really good deal on a makeup organizer on Amazon or something? Sure, I can share that with them, right? I would have never thought of that a few years back. Like I I just think about my company, my products, uh, but now I'm realizing that I can bring other things to help my people, my audience. Uh, I have a friend who's a color analyst and she actually sells makeup for a different company, but I love the idea of color analysis. And so I invited her to come and talk to my group and talk to them about their colors. There are lots of ways that you can expand and as you expand, then you are also bringing more value to the people that follow you. So over the past six years, I have started to shift away from Michelle Fox, beauty consultant, and toward, I'm Michelle Fox Beauty. I'm your online beauty resource. I'm here to help you navigate you know, the changes in your skin and the, the way you apply color. But also, let's just talk about you know, midlife issues. And we'll talk about whether to go gray or continue dyeing your hair. We'll talk about menopause, belly, and all kinds of stuff. And as I've done that, my audience has grown and grown because they are seeing me as more than just somebody who wants to sell them something. They're seeing me the brand, you know, Michelle Fox, the brand, and I encompass more than just what I sell. So what I want you to start thinking about is that there is a benefit to branding yourself rather than relying exclusively on the logo and the banner and the tagline and the colors and only talking about what you sell moving away from that and moving more toward the lifestyle of an influencer where, you know, the influencer isn't um, committed to any one brand. The influencer is committed more to a concept. You know, I'm here to talk about food. I'm here to talk about makeup. I'm here to talk about, you know, childcare or whatever. And so uh, that one person then can speak to all kinds of issues within, you know, under that umbrella of whatever their genre is and bring, you know, tons of value. And so the people that are watching them don't feel like they're being sold to. They feel like they are benefiting from all of this advice and information and expertise and recommendations. And so when you can realize that that you can be like that, it is going to give you a lot of security as these changes are taking place in the MLM world. So I'll give you a couple other ideas. I love a certain kind of press on nail. And so I used to just, uh, you know, recommend it to my friends and family. And there was a, like a referral program or something where you got points when people used your link or something like that. 
And, uh, but eventually I realized that they had an affiliate opportunity. And the difference there is that you actually get paid, paid money. So now when I talk to people about this press on nail and I give them my link and people shop there, I get money in my checking account. Does that take away from, or is that being disloyal to the skincare and color cosmetics that I represent? No, because we don't have press on nails. All right. If I see something on Amazon that I think is, you know, a great way to organize your makeup or would be, you know, a perfect way to store something or, um, you know, spa headbands, fuzzy headbands, really anything. I mean, even outfits or, or whatever, I, because I have an audience, because I have people that have learned to know, like, and trust me, I can speak to lots of different things while I'm selling the skincare and the color cosmetics. Do you start to feel what I'm saying? So for me personally, I've got avenues of income such as I'm an affiliate for many companies, all right? And so when I refer to those products, I can put an affiliate link in my video or in my post. And if somebody were to click on that link and make a purchase, I would make money from that. I have a U- I have three YouTube channels, but I have one in particular that because of the size of my audience and because of the number of views that I get, YouTube pays me. So that is income. It's passive income for me. I also became an Amazon influencer, which is slightly different than an affiliate. It makes it is, um, a bigger money-making opportunity and much more visibility. And so I've got that coming in. I have created my own merchandise. I found out that it doesn't cost a thing to actually open up a shop and create t-shirts and mugs and things with, with anything on it. I mean, you can put your logo on it, but you could literally put anything and sell that and make money. I didn't know about any of these things, you know, a few years back, but as I've learned about personal branding, as I've learned about social media and how it works and how other influencers make money, um, it has opened up my thinking. And so I have pursued these other ways. It's not easy. It doesn't happen overnight. It all hinges on you figuring out who you are. Like, what, what do you have to bring to the table? Who are you talking to? And then um, investigating ways for you to expand, you know, within that realm. Because I've chosen to do that, I have a lot more security about these these shifts and changes and the you know it's kind of a tumultuous time but I'm not relying on any one thing for my income I have a variety of things happening a variety of streams so I guess the purpose of this message <laughs> is that I you need to see what's going on All right. If you don't know, if you haven't heard, start researching it. You can Google this MLM's affiliate structure um, because many MLM's multi level marketing network marketers, um, those companies are shifting to that of an affiliate model. What does that mean for you? And I think that as we realize that change is happening, I think that it's important for us to then start seeing, well, what can I do to protect myself so that should one income source shift or end or become minimized, that I still have other avenues to pursue. And here's something that's really cool is that as you pursue these other avenues of income, I say that too much, but I don't know what else to call it. As you pursue these other opportunities, you might, you know, stumble across one that really becomes your passion and that that becomes like your main one where like you think that your direct sales is always going to be your baby, like the, the main thing that you're passionate about and the main thing that brings in money. But who knows, maybe you will become very, very passionate about your YouTube channel or about your Amazon storefront 
or about creating merchandise to sell or creating digital files or online courses. There are so many ways truly to make money online. The important part is that you need to start to see yourself as the brand. You are the brand, not just the company that you sell for. So I know that's a lot. It's a lot <laughs> to put out there. But um, my heart just bleeds for people that are are shocked and frightened and don't know what to do in the midst of these changes because normally it happens very rapidly. You know, you wake up and oh, the doors are closed or they're closing as of the end of the week for your company. You know, what do people do with that? My goodness. And so I want other people to have the same sense of security that I have simply because I chose to brand myself and expand uh, my income opportunities. So I'm actually putting together a course about this. Uh, I just like, just hit me. And I sat down and my husband was like, what are you doing? I said, I'm, I'm making a course. <laughs> I just sat and I, I created the outline and the modules and I just, I feel like I've got so much to say because I love people in direct sales. I want to help if I can. And I do think that I have something uh, worth sharing. And um, so I'm working on that. So this is just sort of like uh, opening up that conversation, beginning the conversation with you. Let's, let's, talk. All right. What, what do you know? What have you heard? What do you feel? Has this impacted you? Have these changes impacted you? The, um, the stricter FTC rules, the, um, the network marketing companies that are shifting to an affiliate model. Has that happened in your company? Were you even aware of it? Are you concerned about it? Have you seen these hater channels on YouTube that are, you know, very much against MLMs and how does that make you feel? And and have you noticed more skepticism in the in the marketplace? We got to talk about it. We can't ignore it. it. It would just not be wise. And I really want this to sort of segue into um, people being open to the possibility of looking for other ways to make money to supplement what is coming in with their direct sales money, their direct sales income. So uh, all of this is going on up here. <laughs> so I had to start the conversation and this is that. Um, so let me know what you're thinking. And uh, meanwhile, I am fast and furiously working on this course I'm pretty darn excited about it. I think it's going to be a real flagship. It, it sort of is that feeling of this is what these six years have been leading up to. I want you for, to benefit from the changes that I've made during the past few years. And uh, I think that I was made for such a time as this. <laughs> so I'm really, really excited about it. Um, if you want to get on a wait list for the course, no commitment, but just um, for you to submit your email address so that as the course is developed and I have an actual launch date that you would be in the loop. Um, I'm going to put the um, link for that in the description of the video. So, you know, look for that, click the link, put in your email. Will you get email from me? Yes, that's the point. <laughs> Okay. You will be on an email list, but it will be a waiting list and you will get information specifically about the development of this course. When do I think it's going to be available? I would say January, but uh, you know, when it comes to stuff like this, it, it is kind of hard to, to know for sure. There's lots of moving pieces. So that's why I just want to at least get your email and then I will keep you in the loop. And also if you're on this um, wait list, you will also have access to an early bird discount. So in conclusion, I would just like to say that things are changing rapidly in the direct sales environment. I think it's important that you take a look and see what's happening, educate yourself. And furthermore, that you look into ways to supplement the money that you've got coming in with your direct sales business just in case. But I think that it's important that we know what's going on, that we don't panic, 
but that we prepare and you can do things to be proactive right now. So that's that's where I'm coming from. And don't forget to jump onto this waiting list. The name of the course is Passion into Profits. And I want to show you how to determine what your passion is, who your market is, and how to take that and find ways to make money with, with that. So if you haven't yet subscribed to Boss Babes Online, make sure that you hit the subscribe button so that we can stay in the loop because I will continue talking about this topic. And if you know anybody else in direct sales that needs to hear this, be sure to invite them to this channel or just share this video with them. So um, stick with me. We're going to figure this out. We're going to come up with a strategy, a plan. I'm excited about it. Um, and if you are one that has already been impacted, I hope um, that you don't feel that I'm being flippant about this at all. I, I am sorry. I'm sorry for what you're going through. It, um, it's a lot. I, I don't think people really fully understand how when you're in direct sales, it it is your life. And when there's a radical change, it is very, very upsetting emotionally as well as financially. So um, let's support each other and let's come up with a plan. Okay. So thanks for watching and I will talk to you soon.